Boulder City, there we go. Yeah, we'll find the dead Khans in Boulder City, we'll steal their clothes so that we can sneak into the Khan territory. Because I need to do some quests with them to get um my rep back up, then I can actually deal with the faction properly. They should still be there, the, uh, the dead Khans. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the Brotherhood Steel yet. Because I haven't decided which faction I'm going to be with. Ah, crap. So their bodies are just gone. Alright, well. I guess we're just going to head to Khan territory and hope for the best. Maybe Merciful, Merciful Thug isn't a violent reputation. Maybe I'll just have to kill all the Khans. Whoa! Here we go. That was very unexpected. Just spawn in and get attacked by like six fiends. Yeah, because doing it working with the Great Khans is good because it lets you um Really Violet's dogs are still there? Um Working with the Great Khans is good because it gives you access into um Vault 3 for free. Because you go you can go in and Actually you can just do a speech check, can't you? Just to assassinate Motor Runner, I'm thinking. But yeah, you're you you can just use a speech check. I don't even think you need you, you can go in with the, the drugs that the Khans give you for, for Motor Runner. You can also just lie and say, yeah, I've got stuff for Motor Runner, and then you can kill him. The main reason why I haven't already killed Motor Runner, the leader of the fiends, is because um of this quest. Because if you kill him, it breaks the quest. She's starting to get better at the uh, the gunplay. It's nothing special to gunplay in this game, it's very basic, but... But I'm starting to get not bad at shooting. Which for me is a pretty big achievement, I'm pretty bad at most shooter games. Okay, this isn't the way. Yeah, probably the only shooter game I've ever been good at was um, the Battlefield series. I played Battlefield 3? Which I played a lot of when I was younger. And I was pretty I like to think I was pretty decent at it. My KD was like just over two. Which isn't fantastic, but it's not bad. Uh, and then Battlefield 1, I think my KD was nearly three. Which is actually quite good. Yeah, I was never really been good at uh, FPS. Or third person shooters for that matter. Yeah, and most like Call of Duty games or anything like that. I was lucky if I had a uh, like neutral KD. Chances map. Chances map. The sun is killing me. Hmm. I actually don't know what what that's all about. It must it must be a map leading to something. Okay, these <laughs> totems and stuff is how we know that we're entering Khan territory. Uh, I, I know my way from here. Yeah, the Great Khans were in the Fallout series as early as the original game. too many shots. I think he fired like 12 shots at that one gecko. Yeah, they're, they're, the, the Great Khans, they're kind of just um, bandits, basically. They're a little bit more organized um, than like your typical raiders, but not by much.
they have some type of, you know, quote unquote culture, but it's mostly like surrounded, uh, centered around drug use, stuff like that. Just gonna check settings. Okay. Red Rock Canyon. So cool because there's red rocks around. This sort of earth is um, very uncommon in most parts of the world, but it's like red earth. It's mostly found in, um, there's a lot of it in Australia and there's a lot of it in Brazil. So I think that the Khans might just be outright hostile towards me. I don't have Boone with me, which is something. Runners are saying that the NCR is sending in their elite shock troops okay, to well, try and push back the Legion. They don't hate me. Which is good. I don't know whether I'll be able to do their quests, but. Hey! Got a bit of a walk ahead of us. Talk fast. Ah, uh, goodbye. Yeah, go on. Yeah, Jessup is one of uh, Benny's goons. Well, it's good that he made it back, I guess. Um, these guys, Jack and Diane, are the ones with like all the quests. So we'll see if they're willing to talk to me. They might just tell me to get lost. But we should see. Yeah, this is like the, the, the drug lab area. You're not one of my regulars. What do you want? Uh, I'm looking to make a few caps. Got any work for me? I don't have any compelling reason to trust you, no. given your behavior. So no, I'm not really inclined to give you a job. Well, uh, you've got an impressive setup. Have you considered making more helpful cams? Helpful? What, like bathtub stim packs? What's the point of that? You can turn a profit and help the people of the Mojave. That's touching, but it would take away from our bottom line. I'll have to pass. Catch you later. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, new guy. Are you, Jack? Here we go. Think of all the people you overdose on jet and psych. It's bad for your karma. Oh, you're right. I should start a side project making meds. I <laughs> like how he can be convinced just by talking. She wants money. Uh, how's the medical work going? Already on it. I whipped up a few stim packs already. But if you've got any more recipes, I'll take them. I'm uh, looking to make a few caps. Got any work? Diane handles most of the transactional elements of uh. this little enterprise. Well, there we go. We got the quest. I'm always in the market for new recipes if you've got the spark. I know a few recipes I could teach you. Right on. What have you got? Uh, super stim packs. Right on. Let's have it. So this should help boost my rep with the faction a little bit. I'm pretty sure you get rep by helping them. Grudalicious. That ought to rake in the caps. What do I owe you? Just helping out. Right on, right on. You're a pretty hip cat. A uh, new recipe? Slasher. Right. <laughs> Gruda. Just helping out. Recipe. Party time mentats. I like how you get karma for teaching this guy how to make drugs. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Gruda. Rocket. There we go. So my my reputation's gone up a little bit. <laughs> Gruda. All right. Goodbye. So, are you willing to accept my support hey, now? Hey, what's up? Got any work? Hmm. There we go. Like All right. Handle yourself in a fix. All right. I'll tell you what. Anders, one of my best runners, is overdue to report back. If you can find out what happened, teaching people how to make drugs would make I'll them give like you some you. real work. Uh, just tell me who I'm looking for and where to start. About three weeks ago, I sent Anders south. We already met Anders, actually. To Arizona, to open new markets for our product. He should have been back two days ago, but there's been no sign of him. I'll be back as soon as I have any news. Thanks. Prove you're liable on this, and I'll have more for you later. Oh, 
That was weird. Uh, Abba Dabba Honeymoon. Yeah, so... My rep got really soured by by Boone killing Oscar Velasco. But we've patched it back up. So we're on, I think, probably like some sort of neutral relationship. So we're a soft-hearted devil. So it means that... They don't... They I've done some bad stuff to them, but I've helped them out a lot as well. So they're sort of like... Neutral about me. I don't know why the game keeps zooming in like that. I think they might be trying to talk to me, but they don't have any dialogue. Maybe I should write something about how much the game I'll help suck. carry the punk. What do you want? What are you doing? Uh, nothing really. Just trying to psych myself up to try my initiation. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like you were writing poetry. Oh, you heard that, huh? Okay, so, yeah, I was writing poetry. I know, I know, it's not a very great con-like thing to do. The followers of the Apocalypse came to our camp when I was a kid, and they brought a bunch of old books. I used to read pre-war poetry for hours. You don't sound too eager for your initiation. Yeah, well, I guess maybe I'm not. But what else can I do? Sounds like you're not happy being a great Khan. Maybe you'd be happier someplace else. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe I can find my true calling someplace they'll appreciate my poetry. Someplace like the old Mormon fort, maybe. Do you think the followers of the Apocalypse will take anybody, take me? buddy? Trust me. I remember all those books they brought us when they visited our tribe. I could ask them for you. You'd do that? Thanks. I mean, I'd go myself, but what if they said no? The cons wouldn't take me back, and then I'd have nobody. Alright, here we go. I'd like to hear some of your poetry. You would? Really? Okay, well then, here goes. <clears throat> I wrote this limerick the last time I went to Freeside. There once was a fellow called Garrett. Whose sister she did love to bear it. She flashed it around all over town. So if you would screw her, beware it. I, uh, got kicked out of the Atomic Wrangler for that one. Yeah, really? That's it. What do you think? That was really something. You liked it? Wow, you're the first one who ever did. It made me laugh. Which, I don't know whether it was, it was his point, but... Indulgent. It rhymes with indulgent. Alright. Um, which one is... Papa Khan's tent. Yeah, so pretty much we're gonna try and break their alliance with the Legion. That's how. Yeah, they are trying to talk to me, but they don't have any dialogue, I think, is, what, is what's happening. That's why it, like, zooms in on them and then, like, clicks back. Maybe they want to tell me, like, you know, you're not welcome here or something like that. Some of the art is interesting that they're doing. I think it's probably references to the Bitter Springs Massacre. Or maybe it's them picking on people, I don't know. Which one is the... The actual, like, building? Well, for now, let's, um, let's save, uh, Anders. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit weird that you can find Anders, like, whenever. But you can't actually free him until you've got this quest, so you just sort of have to leave him there. Okay, we're gonna be very careful going down this hill. Fall damage is, um, exponential in most games. So if you fall a small distance, you probably take a tiny bit of HP, but if you fall just, like, a tiny bit more, you take a lot more damage. I remember at one point I read the formula for calculating, uh, fall damage in, uh, Minecraft. It's, like, got, like, squaring involved hey. or something. Hey, that's the best you got to say to me? Please, help me. Are you Anders, Jack, and Diane sent me to look for you? Thank God. Let me down, please. Let's get you down from here. <sighs> okay. Travel to Red Rock Canyon directly, because I think that takes us to Papa Kant's. Yeah, there we go. This is, um, his house. 
So the NCR makes peace with the kings now? Where was that mercy at Bitter Springs? Where's Papacon? Hello, Regis. I haven't seen you before. What brings you to the great They are cons? so filthy, the cons. What's your opinion on the NCR? That's a complicated question. They've done horrible things to our people, to be sure. And I've gladly killed many of their soldiers in battle. But I can't bring myself to hate them the way Papa does. Things would damn sure be better for us if they were in charge than Caesar. So if you were in charge of the tribe, you'd fight with the NCR against Caesar, if asked. I suppose if asked, I would. But that's a moot point, because Papa's in charge now. And he's not going anywhere. Alright, goodbye. Until next time. Oh, where is Papa? Carl's been in a shitty mood since that... Oh, there he is. So the cub enters the wolf's den. <laughs> What do you want, Cub? What do you want, Cub? Uh, who are you? You march all the way out to Red Rock Canyon, enter my home as bold as you please, and you have no idea who I am? What do you You've want, You've got Cub? guts, I'll give you that. Well then, let me educate you. I am the chief of the Great Khans. The Khan of Khans, if you like. This is my tribe, and these are my people. Tell me about your people. You want to hear the story of the Great Khans? It's a long one, full of honor, glory, and betrayal. Yes, I don't know why they mob themselves suffered, after like the but Mongols. We will regain our glory. Maybe he give me the short version. In a hurry, are you? Very well then. The great Khans came east out of the NCR fourteen years ago. We ruled the wastes then and called no man master, but we underestimated the families of the Strip, and they drove us back to Bitter Springs where we remained until the NCR arrived and drove us here. How did the three families defeat you? They allied with Mr. House, the self-proclaimed master of New Vegas. He supported them with the resources of New Vegas. Weapons, technology, caps. They were better equipped, and we could not stand against them. What happened at Bitter Springs? When the NCR really came to the Mojave, we thought they would be easy pickings. We raided their caravans, their towns, their camps. They couldn't stop us. At least that's what we thought. They tracked us to Bitter Springs and surrounded us. When our children, our sick and old, fled through a nearby mm, we know pass, about this from Boone's, uh, the NCR gunned room. them down. That's horrible. It's it because horrible. of that that we have sworn to take revenge on the NCR. With our new allies in Caesar's Legion, we will crush them. So that's not Typical. Else. No reference for history in the younger generation. I just asked you all these questions. I've come to ask you to break your alliance with the Legion. Have you now? Hmm. Well, you're a bold one, I'll give you that. But why should I do this for you? Yeah, this is the, the good point. Do you really think Caesar's gonna restore your tribe to glory? You'll be made slaves. Ha! The great Khans will not be slaves. Caesar himself has promised us the land from here to the Colorado mm -hmm. and the freedom to raid as we see fit. I won't hear any more talk against Caesar or his alliance. The great cons will answer Caesar's call to war, and the NCR will pay for their crimes. Goodbye. Farewell. Explosion at the fort. True to Kaiser. Oh. I'll do my best. The runners are saying that the NCR is sending in their elite shock troops. Papa says to cut off the head the and the snake will die. I guess the chairman's days are numbered. Yeah? Alright. Oh! I heard you try to convince Papa Khan not to <laughs> join scare. with Caesar's Legion. I'd like to talk to you about that for a moment. Uh, what is it you had in mind? You want to convince Papa not to ally with Caesar, right? Trust me, you'll get nowhere just talking to him about it. He's fixated on restoring the glory of the great cons, and he sees Caesar as the path to that restoration. So what do I do? Papa can be a stubborn man, but he's not a tyrant. He listens to his tribe, and to four voices in particular. Me, Jack, Diane, and Melissa. Melissa's an if interesting character. If you can convince character. all of us that allying with Caesar is a bad idea, you might be able to sway him. I'll see what I can... Are you convinced already if we're having this conversation? I have my doubts about Caesar, yes. But I won't publicly go against Papa Khan based on nothing more than doubts. 
I've heard rumors that tried yes, to we've align got Caesar in the past I got the ledger when I was in Caesar's tent. To slaves. Prove it, and I'll back you. Uh, what would convince Jack and Diane? You'd have to talk to them, but those two have been thick as thieves since they were kids. Convince one, and the other will come around. What about Melissa? Ah, Melissa. She's a bit of a dreamer. Last time she was in camp, Carl filled her head with stories of serving the Legion as a speculatore. Personally, I've never seen a woman in Legionnaire's yeah. armor, so I have my doubts. I'll see what I can do. Good. Oh, one more thing. Caesar's representative, Carl, has become fast friends with Pava. Carl's the one who has him so fixated on this alliance. You'll probably have an easier time of things if you can find a way to get him out of the picture. Keep that in mind. I would too, if I were you. Alright, Regis. Something else you wanted? Uh, have a look at this book. It'll show what happens to the tribes that ally with Caesar's Legion. Let me see. My god, this Let is me even see. worse than my I god, thought. This is worse okay, than I thought. you have my support. I'll tell Papa the Alliance is a bad idea. Goodbye. Until next time. Papa says cut off the head and the snake will die. Oh, Caesar's oh. veterans will arrive from Arizona soon. And there will be no stopping our victory. I'm wondering why you don't petition the Khans for membership as a show of allegiance. Join? Oh, no, I, I simply couldn't. That is, I'm not worthy of such an honor. But surely a warrior in service of glorious Caesar is the equal of any tribe's finest. Of course I am. That is to say, Caesar has many fine warriors, and I wouldn't wish to compare them to the great Khans. Because you know they've come up lacking. Enough! How dare you compare Caesar's <laughs> finest to this tribe of savages? The mightiest great Khan is scarcely a match for a legion recruit. The burned man would leave their mightiest shitting themselves in terror. I would. That is... Interesting opinion. I wonder what Papa Khan, will, Papa Khan will say about this. You motherless bastard. You'll pay for this. Hey, you know... Great I guess Khans. the chairman's days Drive are Caesar's numbered. dog out of our <laughs> camp. If he's too slow to flee, kill him. There he goes. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> Goodbye, Carl. Mr. House isn't a man to be trusted. Watch yourself. Ooh. How are you doing, you know? You doing good? Anders told me what happened. We owe you one for rescuing him. Tell you what. I can give you caps as a thank you or a special recipe Jack cooked up. It's like the recipe. Here you go. Enjoy it. With Anders out of commission for so long, we're short-handed on runners. Waiting on the dinner. Backlogs Ooh, have piled okay. up. We've got good. an associate in the Crimson Caravan Trading Company who distributes for us in out of Vegas. He's been after us for a new shipment. I'll do it. Great. Here's the package. Your contact is Don Hostetler at the Crimson Caravan. Come back and see me when you're done. Did you make that delivery yet? What about the alliance with Caesar's Legion? Anders got back a little while before you did. He told me what happened. There we go. If that's how the Legion treats my people, I don't want any part of them. Uh, what have you actually got for Jack sale? handles a small time. Okay. Goodbye. Catch you later. Okay. So we need to get Melissa. So Melissa is an interesting character. Because, I mean, you can you'll see for yourself when we when we meet her. This this is a very interesting accent. I know she's she's in the quarry. I can't remember exactly how we get to her though. I'd rather not fight these red scorpions there. Here we go. Yeah, they're a bit too tough. 
bruh. Arcade is a killing machine. It's incredible. He's supposed to be this, like, you know, gentle soul type guy, but he's a freaking menace. It's because it's he uses a plasma gun. Like, energy weapons are just way stronger than any other, like, type of firearm. In most cases. Except for, like, the, you know, anti mat rifle, stuff like that. Damn. We might have to clear out Quarry Junction before we're allowed to meet with Melissa. Here we go. I don't even need to pull out my gun. This guy is just too powerful. I kind of wish I remembered which way to go. There's like a, there's supposed to be like a town somewhere around here, I think, from memory. Sloan. That's the name of the place. I think this might be Sloan coming up. This is Sloan. There's a couple of mini quests that we can do here. Hello, dear Snuffles. Woof. Your leg appears to be injured. Woof. Clean the wound with antibiotics and expertly bind Snuffle's injured leg. Snuffle. Goodbye. Snuffle. Generator. Let's fix the generator. Hey. Hey. Chomps. Chomps Lewis. There he is. Hold up. There are death claws all over the damn place north of here. I'd turn back if I were you. If you want to get to New Vegas, you're better off heading east from Prim and then looping north. It's a heck of a lot safer. I repaired your generator. It's nice to see things going the way they're <laughs> supposed to for a change. I'm going to pay you out of my own pocket for this one. I fixed Snuffle's leg. I'd noticed Snuffle's limping, but I didn't realize the problem was that serious. Thanks. That beast helps keep spirits up around here. Uh, where'd the death claws come they from? They moved into the quarry after the powder gangers came through and made off with most of our dynamite. We shut the quarry down while we waited for the NCR to get us some more blasting sticks, but now the death claws have shown up. The NCR is a no show. And my men and I have got nothing to do but sit on our asses all day. It's damn frustrating. I could take care of the death call problem. I don't know what it is about you, but I think you could actually pull it off. Death claws are tough bastards, but you might be even tougher. Nobody here is any use to you in a fight against death claws, but take these medical supplies. You'll probably need them. To do the job right, you've got to get rid of the pack leaders, the mother death claw and the death claw alpha male. Should run the rest of them off. Alright. Uh, goodbye. Okay, we should actually make a save, because this is like, quite a difficult part of the game. Um, I don't know where the Rat Slayer is up for the job. I suppose if I get sneak attack crits, it might be good, but... I'm probably better off switching to something with a bit more punch. 